Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Isaacson, Director of the Alzheimer's Prevention Clinic at Weill Cornell Medicine in New York Presbyterian, and I'm here on behalf of Medscape. So you may have heard about the exciting news about curcumin and the potential for treating Alzheimer's disease. So there was a recent study by Gary Small and colleagues published in the American Journal of the Geriatric Society, and the study showed something really interesting. It was the first study that used a randomized trial design a small number of patients, 40 patients, aged 50 to 90 with mild memory complaints. And it randomized patients to a specific type of curcumin that, was, that has very small particles, basically called nanoparticles. And why is this important? So curcumin in the past has had trouble with absorption. There are a variety of supplements that have been tried. However, for example, John Ringman and colleagues published several years back in a, in a group of Alzheimer's patients, curcumin was not effective for delaying or helping symptoms in any way. But when they looked at the blood, the curcumin pills that the patients were taking were not getting absorbed. So this new version of curcumin was nanoparticles, and it's, uh, the, the brand is called Theracumin, and the um, philosophy behind this is better absorption. So when this trial was performed, not only did patients that were randomized to the active form of curcumin in 18 months, not only did they have improved memory function, but they actually had less amyloid in specific parts of their brain that correlated with where Alzheimer's disease happens. So what does this all mean? Well, from a practical clinical perspective, this is a pretty exciting study. Curcumin is a very well-tolerated uh, supplement overall. Um, in my clinical practice, I've been recommending that my patients who are interested in prevention or even patients with mild memory loss um, cook with curcumin, which is the um, active form of turmeric. Um, and Cooking with it may increase absorption, a little bit of fat in the meal, that kind of thing. When it comes to the pills, um, I think it's exciting. Um, I think that while we don't know exactly um, whether what's the right dose, we don't know exactly which patients it will work in, I think this preliminary ev evidence suggests that curcumin may play a role um, in the um, therapeutic paradigm of Alzheimer's disease. Now, should curcumin be used for prevention? Should curcumin use, be used for treatment? I don't think that we know the answers yet, but hopefully further studies um, will occur that will clarify this. When it comes to risk reduction, there's a variety of reasons why curcumin may have benefit. Overall, it reduces inflammation. It's been studied in a variety of conditions from cancer to arthritis, and maybe if you can calm down the inflammatory pathways in the brain, you can kind of press the brakes uh, towards amyloid deposition. Um, why else could it work? Well, there's also antioxidant properties. Not exactly sure, but regardless, we need more, more research studies to figure this out. So in summary, um, I do think that curcumin, the specific form, which is nanoparticles, may play a role, which is both now evidence-based to a degree, as well as safe, in both the risk reduction and potential therapeutic management of a person with Alzheimer's disease. For Medscape, I'm Dr. Richard Isaacson.